Okay, I'm gonna get a couple of boards. Where's the other black one? Did you bring it around? No, I didn't get it. We're getting ready to move the ice box out into the food forest. Trying to figure out the easiest way to move it. And it's got a dolly on it. It was the interesting part of this. When we got our new refrigerator, we had it delivered. I'd never seen it before. A lot of you might know about it or seen it in recent years, but they've got a new thing. Two guys, instead of putting it on a dolly, they have these uh, straps they put over their shoulder and around their back. And uh, they just bend their knees and on each side and the straps are connected to a strap on the refrigerator and they just pick it up and walk it in like it looked like it's floating on air. They was carrying it long ways? Or upright? Oh, upright. upright. Oh, were they? Yeah, yeah, right there. They, they brought it to the front door uh, on a dolly and then they strapped it. Strapped herself and uh, I don't know whether it's back to front, but anyway, I think they were like that. They just bend their knees and tighten it up and stood up and it looked like it was just a feather. Just wow. floating on air and they just walked it into the kitchen, through the front room and into the kitchen. <laughs> well, yeah. huh. why don't we do that? Why don't we just don't do nothing? <laughs> Let's go ride horses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go ride horses. Uh huh. Well, anyway, that's what we're going to do. So this is where we got to go. And I'm going to use that soil there to put in the ice box. And then we're going to come through here. I wish we could make that thing float. Unlevel ground a little bit so we have to be careful. We'll have to turn it here. And we're going to put it right over here. Right there. That's the plan. Well, here goes nothing. Uh, this is what you got to do when you get over. <laughs> for for the high moving. Uh, uh. But uh, we've got them boards strapped to it. To I'm going to be pulling that in. And, uh, and I'll, I'll pick it up like a wheelbarrow. Just like a wheelbarrow. Where I can get out from underneath it. And it's not too heavy. Got that strapped down. And, uh, and I'll pull the front. And she'll pull and I'll push. And okay. We just got to make the corners. Yeah. So I got to get the gates ready. Make sure everything's out of my way. So that is how we're going to do it.
Okay, wait a minute. Okay, we'll pull, push it all the way as far as it'll go. This way? Yeah, then we'll take it off. Okay. You're going to have to raise it up to take it off. Huh? What? You're going to have to stand all the way up to take it off? No. Okay. Because <coughs> it would be tied back there. You got lots of help. Yeah. One lucky. Well, I need to uh, drill some more holes through here where it'll drain good and we'll put the dirt in. Yeah. At another time. And he's going to make a tray for him. Yeah, I'm going to make a, a tray to keep the chickens out and a screen, uh, chicken wire. It'll just sit down in there on slots. Well, that's pretty and, good. Uh, Grow me some lettuce or onions or something. Great. We might be able to do carrots in here. I don't know. It's, 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 I don't know. The heat really is bad. Leave it out uh, about a foot from the fence. I want the dogs to get around this and the chickens. Uh, we're going to have to put a barrier up there because the chickens will Hop on jump it. from here into the garden when we're when we don't want them in there. But uh, that that come later on this winter. We don't care about it right now. Yeah, we, we want them in there to. We want them in there now to clean up and. Uh, uh, get any bugs and mice that might be hiding. Well, I'm glad we got this moved. Well, these vines look like a bunch of kudzu. <laughs> they do. <laughs> I didn't control them very well. Yeah. Anyway, we have a war on them. the next thing we're going to have to do is move that soil. Be able to take all that fence down and the chickens can get in there. If I got any Malabar spinach seeds in there, which I'm sure I do. Uh, the chickens can eat it and they've really been working at it but soon I'll be taking it to the ice box and then I'm gonna put leaves horse manure probably ashes maybe chicken manure in here to make me some good potting soil I, I don't really 
light vine potting soil uh, from the big box store. Some of it's got a lot of wood chips in it. Um, sometimes I open them up and they smell like poison. So I would rather have my own homemade potting soil. So thanks for watching from Out West Homestead. I'm glad to get this job over with. We, we were kind of dreading it. But it went pretty easy after we figure out how to do it. So. I'm going to get my scraps. Okay. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, go.